Hi, my name's uh, Alexander Gola. Uh, I am a uh, public artist, uh, and uh, in, in this case, I'm also uh, mentoring uh, the students, or the recent tw graduate, 2020 high school graduates that you see over there. So I do public art, I do murals, art installations, light work, um, all sorts of really fun activities, and uh, in Wellesley, some of the projects that I've done, I've actually done another pro did another mural in between California Pizza Kitchen and Bank of America. I've done the ceramic mural. I worked on the ceramic mural in the middle school, but I've also done work all over uh, Massachusetts. For my process, I love thinking about each work as something unique and as something that responds to the space in which it exists, right? So for me, it's really important that um, every piece, uh, we talk with community, we figure out what folks need at the time, and then engage with that. So for this project here, we're responding to COVID-19. We're responding to what people have been doing during the pandemic. Um, we put out a survey to the community and uh, we got some responses like uh, of what people were grateful for, what people uh, missed, and what people had learned while social uh, distancing. And part of that includes reading books, playing music, uh, listening to music, um, playing puzzles, going for picnics. And so these animals are meant to offer a way of both offering hope and joy to people, but also a way of dealing with the collective trauma that we're all experiencing in this period. Yeah, so it's, it's a very collaborative process. So uh, we all, all kind of put together a few ideas. So maybe one person was really interested in the cat, doing listening to music another person was interested in the hedgehog uh, running on a treadmill and uh, over time though as the days go on you know maybe one student does an underpainting and then another person does some detail work and so it eventually even though it starts off as one person's leading the charge it ends up being a collaborative effort uh, well so for this project in particular it was very kindly supported by uh, federal realty investment um, Federal Realty Investment Trust. They're the folks who own this property and own Roche Brothers property and, and, and that whole, this whole stretch of Linden Square. So we have, these are the three main students, or well, they're not students anymore. They are uh, 2020, class of 2020 graduates. But the three main ones who've been leading the charge with me and who I've been working with principally. So we did work with a number of other students from the high school, but these are the three who really dug into it. You know, it's been tough during COVID, but uh, I'm very grateful that I do have some more projects in the future. Um, I'm doing a project up in Haverhill, which I've, where I've done a number of projects around immigrant stories and origin stories. Um, we're doing a mural about um, belonging and equity and the multi-generational fight or struggle for justice and equity. So we're doing that up there. And then I'm doing another one about American folk art in, um, at BU. You know, I mean, if anyone else watching is looking for public art or looking to do this, I, I love this. So I'm always looking for other opportunities.